want you to hit me as hard as you can. Collectors Assemble for today's episode featuring a film 65 million years in the making with none other than Jurassic Park. With all the excitement hitting the internet recently with the reunion of the original Jurassic Park cast in preparation for 2021's Jurassic World 3 Dominion and the awesome looking Velocicoaster coming to Universal Studios next summer, we felt it necessary to pay tribute to the movie that started it all and the merch madness that followed it. For those of us growing up playing with toy dinosaurs, imagine the complete and utter excitement when in 1993, none other than Steven Spielberg brought Michael Crichton's best-selling novel, Jurassic Park, to the big screen. Brains were melted, dinosaurs on film forever set a new bar, and prehistoric beasts were thrusted into the limelight again, creating a feeding frenzy for Jurassic Park merch. Let's take a look at some of the great products any collector is either lucky enough to still have or longs to find that holy grail from the past. To create the epic toy line for Jurassic Park, Kenner managed to score the deal with Emblem Entertainment. Originally, the first series of toys contained five human figures, 11 dinosaurs, including two electric dinos, three vehicles, and a command center playset. The human figures debuted with Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Robert Muldoon, Tim Murphy, and Dennis Nedry. The figures originally appeared with a black background behind the packaging bubble, and after a month of production, the background was changed to the ever-popular Sunset Jungle background. As for the dinosaurs in the first series, some came complete with dino damage and various attacks. The dinosaurs included Dimetrodon, Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, Coelophysis, Pteranodon, Young T-Rex, Stegosaurus, and Triceratops. Others were awesome electronic versions complete with dino sounds like Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, and the Mighty T-Rex. Also included in the series release were some cool Jurassic Park vehicles, like the famous Jungle Explorer and the Bush Devil Tracker. There was also a capture copter that was not seen in the film. To round off the collection, Kenner made an amazing electronic command compound, complete with paddock fences, the signature Jurassic Park gate, an electric talking computer, firing missile, hatchery with eggs, and dino damage panels. With the success and demand of the first series of the toy line, Kenner crafted a sequel to the original 1993 toys, with the second series debuting in 1994. The toy line features the five original figures repainted with new head sculpts to better resemble the actors from the movie. Plus, they added a Dr. Malcolm to the mix. The new series also debuted six new characters not seen in the film with the Dino Trackers and Evil Raiders figures. The Dino Trackers all had expertise in paleontology or wildlife protection. The figures were Sergeant T-Rex Turner, Harpoon Harrison, and Jaws Jackson. The Evil Raiders were the criminals and poachers who hunted dinosaurs illegally and the enemies to the Dino Trackers. They were Skinner, Dr. Snare, and Scrap Davis who was actually cut from the line and never released. Series 2 also included 11 dinosaurs, some retooled and repainted from the original series, as well as some brand new dinos. Finally, Series 2 was capped off with three new vehicles for the Dino Tracker and Evil Raiders figures to tool around in, with the Jungle Runner, Strike Cycle, and Capture Cruiser. So if that wasn't enough to give you some serious deja vu from your childhood, then let's put the toys aside and take a peek at some of our other favorite pieces of Jurassic Park nostalgia and memorabilia that you were either lucky enough to have or even luckier to still proudly display somewhere in your collections. Jurassic Park Board Game This Milton Bradley board game threw us back on the island fighting our way through the park to the visitor's center, rolling the dice and trying to outsmart the dangerous dinos. Jurassic Park Lunchbox. You were the coolest kid in the cafeteria at school with this awesome lunchbox and thermos combo. It even made up for that bag of carrot sticks mom snuck in there. 
McDonald's Jurassic Park Cups. These were a cool promotion through McDonald's and made for a literal feeding frenzy to try and collect all six cups featuring the film's featured dinosaurs. Jurassic Park Valentine's Day Cards Nothing said I love you like a cute quip from one of your favorite adorable dinosaurs. Jurassic Park Sega Genesis Game This game ruled. The best part was the option to either play as Dr. Grant or the Raptor. Up until then, no other version of the game lets you control a dino quite like this. Jurassic Park T-Shirt I'm sure at some point in the early 90s, you or someone you knew donned this rad full print Jurassic Park T-Shirt. Jurassic Park Dinosaur Standees These miniature dinosaur standees were super cool and who didn't love to have a pop-up T-Rex sitting on your kitchen table? Raptor Bites and Spitters Jawbreaker Candies. These candies were all over the place in 1993. I would even say I could blame some of my earlier cavities on these sweet dino delights. So hopefully you enjoyed that trip down memory lane. But if you fancy yourself a diehard collector, the best part is nowadays you don't just have to seek out the ghosts of items past, because with all the amazing collector exclusives released today, the hits just keep on coming. Let's take a look at some of the absolute must-haves and favorites that are out there today that any diehard Jurassic Park fan would love to display in their collection. Sideshow Collectibles T-Rex Attack Set. This set is hand-painted and comes with LED light-up effects, as well as figures of Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, Tim and Alex Murphy, a T-Rex, and the damaged Jungle Explorer. 1992 Jeep Wrangler Diecast Model. Jada Toys released this die-cast replica of the original 1992 Jurassic Park Jeep Wrangler featured in Jurassic World, and the detail is super cool. Chronicle Collectibles Jurassic Park Goggles Chronicle Collectibles worked with Universal Studios to measure, 3D scan, and extensively photograph the original screen-used goggles, so this is super legit and makes for an absolutely gorgeous display. Pop Funko Dr. Ian Malcolm Wounded Exclusive Pop Funko gave the fans exactly what they wanted with this limited edition shirtless wounded Dr. Malcolm striking his oh-so-famous pose from the film. You know which one. LEGO Jurassic Park T-Rex Attack Set This truly incredible set has over 3,000 pieces and features a huge Tyrannosaurus Rex, Jurassic Park Gate, and a cast of Jurassic Park character minifigs. Finally, one of our favorite must-have collectibles as of late happens to be one I was lucky enough to grab. So let's take a quick review of it in our opening box review we like to affectionately call What's in the box? Mattel's Comic-Con exclusive Dennis Nedre Barbasol Collector Edition. The folks over at Mattel knocked it out of the park with this con exclusive. In place of the cryogenically cooled embryo storage, this large can twists open to reveal a hidden window showing a 3 and 3 quarter inch Nedre and his accessories. LED lights in the base of the can illuminate the figure to create an awesome built-in mini display case. And if that wasn't enough, if you press the cap above the display, it plays all of Dennis Nedre's classic lines. I totally unappreciated my time. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Overall, this is just a really cool way to package a limited edition figure, one I will proudly show off and display. Finally, to wrap up the show today, we like to end with a little segment we call Show Us Your Shit. We wanted to see what all of you got sitting on your shelves at home, so we reached out to our fans and asked for you to send us videos and photos proudly displaying your coveted collectibles. So let's take a look at this episode's featured collection, which in the words of John Hammond are... <laughs> we spared no expense. Favorite all-time game? Favorite game and pinball machine is the Big Lebowski. It was our grail game and shipped from the Netherlands. Best place you buy cool shit from? I buy most of my cool shit from Buddy J.J. Babbage, who owns the Game Exchange of Colorado. How long have you been collecting cool shit? Probably about 15 years in some form or fashion.
What's your favorite piece of your collection? The Tron door is definitely our centerpiece to our collection and serves as a great safe room with its dual 1200 pound mag locks. Won't get in there unless you want in. What's the holy grail, the one item you don't have? I've been looking for a three-person super off-road for quite a while. Thanks for that awesome tour, Jameson. By the way, for those interested in all things arcade, video games, and pinball, our very own Joe Blow Movie Productions is executive producing an upcoming documentary called Arcade Dreams about the history of all of those things. A Kickstarter campaign has also been launched for those who would want to support this effort. Please check out the links on the screen and feel free to watch the trailer over at our sister channel, Joe Blow Movie Trailers. Well, that about brings us to the end of the show. If you would like us to cover any of your favorite toy lines, collectibles, or you just want to submit some pictures and videos showing off your shelves at home, you can do so by hitting us up at collectors at joeblow.com. Stay tuned for new episodes of Joe Blow's Collector Corner coming soon. I'm Tom Brilli, and thanks for watching.